Hey guys, Nico23 here with episode 2 of Lego Harry Potter. Last episode, we learned that Harry was a wizard and, well, now he has his spells. Now he can do any kinds of spells he wants. Well, he has to learn them first. Whoa! Didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna try to get that. Yeah, boy! Okay, now we could move on, but first we're gonna try to get these characters, I think, because this is the first Lego game where you have to, like, purchase every character. You can't just unlock a character and then move on or something like that. You have to, like, where if you play as the character, you unlock him, you actually have to buy the characters that you play. So... Yes, so the targeting system is now very useful, because now we can hone in on more than one object, actually. So that's good. And there's Neville. To be honest, I love Neville. Neville's, like, the best. Behind this couch is a character. It's a Gryffindor boy. Ron <laughs> will be following us. You unlocked a new character. Head back to Madame Motion's Rose and I don't know. So yeah, every little thing has a different thing. In fact, we just killed a student. Oh god. Uh, help students in peril for a reward. I just hit him, I think he'll come back. Yeah! I think we get gold bricks for doing this, and now we have Hermione on our side, I think. This doesn't make any sense because we haven't really seen a troll in the dungeon yet, so that's kind of weird. I guess. But how would I know? Oh. Yeah, right. There's little puzzles where you can't proceed until you do the little puzzle. It's annoying as crap. But, that's all fun in games. So the targeting is probably the most useful thing in this game. But I usually don't target that much, so... So we're just gonna pre- You guys are gonna barely see it, but... Oh god, I got the hiccups. Ghosts will guide you around Hogwarts, follow the trail of ghost studs. Yes, ghosts will drop studs, however, they're ghost studs. They don't count for anything. And Ron has the scabbers. Has this little rat. It's easy to control. Uh, that doesn't seem really possible yet. I don't have no idea. This game does not really follow the trend very- this trend very well. Not trend, uh, story very well. Come on, say hi. You can actually jump over those railings, however you will lose studs. In fact, I shall demonstrate. Oh. It pushed me back! Really? Oh, no, don't, don't, don't! God, I have no idea what's going on. See, you can see the ghost studs there. Maybe I can zoom in on it. Maybe not. I don't know. But you can collect them. However, you you can't get them. They're there just so you, they can guide you. However, there is a way to actually collect them. But you need a red brick. It's kind of annoying. But who cares? I don't. The old character has a double jump, so let's go start our first class. What is this class? Um, uh, maybe you guys can guess when I said that. Well, Wingardium Leviosa is one of the very best, best, Jesus, I'm tired. It's one of the most useful spells in this game. Huh? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so now it's our job to go get it. The students down. Now the bad thing about this game is that you could play through the entire game probably playing as Harry Potter the entire way through without no consequences. Except for maybe you have to play sometimes as Scabbers. Or Ron to get Scabbers. Just press Z normally, it'll just do that. You don't really have to follow the, the directions that it gives you. This is just a way to get a gold brick. All you need to really do is... Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. The paintings will actually give you things when you hit them. Like this, it, it'll give you... A hand. That's some handiwork there. So now the student can get down. I want to collect that heart because I don't want to be flashing red anymore. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this. I'm kind of hoping I don't get copyrighted for something else too. Okay, so this song's gonna play constantly, so... I mean, I don't mind. I, I, God, voice crack. I don't mind it very much, but yeah, this is the first instance of moving with Wingardium Leviosa. You need to like sometimes move bricks. You sometimes have to move bricks when you're using Wingardium Leviosa. It's kind of annoying because you can't really aim of what you're where you're going. Now this one's just very easy. There you go, you rescue all three students and you instantly know when Guardian Leviosa very easily. All students clap for you. Maybe they're clap themselves. Cause they're all they were all in unison for a second. Jeez. I don't think Malfoy and Crab and Goyo were uh, saying clapping, cheering. So, use your ability outside of class. Try using it to explore new areas. That is very true. It's actually going to take us a while to get to the second level, because there's a lot of overworld stuff that you need to do. So, it's kind of weird. Like this. Take this, for instance. You have to see that painting, and then you have to try to put the bricks on exactly where it is. There we go. Let's get these ghost studs. I think now we're going to the cafeteria, cafetorium or something. The main hall or something. You can actually run faster than the ghost. It's, you can just pretty much speed run this game. It's kind of easy. This game is easy, but oh god, I need to get stuff. But yeah, you're sometimes the Wii Remote will make some noises too, but it's, it's kind of annoying, but... Oh, what's this cherry for? Uh, maybe I can find a cauldron around or something, I don't know. Let's go see, there's a cauldron right there, but we can't get it because it's gold. It's gold, so we can't use it. Those pieces go together. And there we go, that's a lot of studs right there. So we are gonna lose the cherry. And now we shall be, should be, in the second level.
All right, the troll is out of the dungeon, and that's where we are. So this is there's the troll. But I was gonna mention stuff about books because, well, this over here you need a book to learn those symbols. And well, does that remind you of anything? No, not at all. Yeah, this game is Indiana Jones. It's pretty much Indiana. This is. Indiana Jones kind of I don't know I don't know what I'm saying at this point I'm saying something whoa speedrunning tactic so I don't have to go through the entire tube to actually get back um, it did it automatically but you can usually press C at that point and just oh uh, how does the troll not hear anything I don't know there's a murmured Merman, no. So this one, you just have to put it down. I think we only need really one. Yeah. Get up there. Then you jump over. There's kind of many kids here. What is going on? I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't target. I couldn't target there for a second. I don't know what was happening. Uh, what does that even do? Um, we can get this right here. These are the equivalent of mini kits. However, there's a lot more stuff to do in the levels actually. So that's it's not the only thing that you have to collect. Um, if I'm correct, yes. So we're actually gonna go back and see if we can find uh, any of those. I know anti capus but kind of weird. I mean, I have those to be robes or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. I messed up with something. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, you're supposed to do this. So then you're supposed to use the force. No. Does it automatically? Oh jeez. So we're gonna try to see if we can find more of those flower pot things. Okay, so this is the woman's room, but since we're men, we can't go in there. Anyhow, we can also enter paintings too, because why not? Eight. There's gotta be like one over here. Yes! Nine! We got Gryffindor. We got Gryffindor and Slytherin. I wonder if that's something we can use over there. Yeah. Oh my god, it is too. Well. You know me, I'm a completionist, so this is gonna take a while. I have no idea where the other ones are, guys. No idea where the other one is. Is it up there somewhere? Is it over here? Because I feel like I'm missing a couple. No, I'm missing a couple. Oh well. All we're supposed to do is just hit this guy, I think. And he's gonna be like, okay, let me get do this thing for a second. And he transforms us into a lady a girl we only have a limited time so we have to go say hey i'm coming in because i'm a lady and she's just like okay go on in it's just like the disguises in indiana jones except this is a one-time thing i think so it's really useless of why i was there but other than to create more puzzles Okay, so I'm gonna collect all these studs. Oh, I found the rest of them! They were all in here! Oh my god, I was so dumb. I suppose it's gotta be somewhere. There it is. There we go. 
You get Ravenclaw. Where's Hufflepuff? I have no idea. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Nothing! That served absolutely no purpose. Okay, let's do this. That served no purpose whatsoever. So you're supposed to just run up to him so he can do the things that you're supposed to do. Okay, so he's gonna start waving. There's, a, there's more people in here somehow. There's a duck. Don't remember that being there last time. Wait, I didn't do anything though. A student in peril was there. I didn't even do anything. So what you're supposed to do is just knock, just hit him. That's pretty much it. Whoa! Got one. Oh wait, what the heck? I was just inside of the toilet. Just fly, fly, fly! Okay, I just got all the studs. Oh, come on, oh, it's already over here. Okay. So you're supposed to just catch it, hit him back with it. Alright, at this point he's very confused, so you, you don't really have to act quick. All you have to do is just do that and then try to hit him. I did it on the first try, however, so that was pretty easy. Kinda has the same design as Guap in, you know, Harry Potter. Years 5 through 7. Ah uh, yes, there's a smell for everything. Did I say smell or spell? I don't know. So yeah, there's a spell for everything. And that's level complete. Free play is unlocked again. So we didn't get all of the house crest, but we did get. I we didn't even get true wizard. Didn't even get 60%. Okay, so we also got that student in peril. I don't know how, though. But anyways, you get a gold brick for completing a level. And getting the student in peril. And getting all the house crest. And getting all that such. Anyways, that's gonna end off part two of LEGO Indiana... Uh, no, not Indiana Jones. <laughs> of Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys! Uh